Welcome to my channel and please take a minute and pause this video and go ahead and subscribe and hit the thumbs up button if you want to see more videos from me or more cooking videos from me go ahead and click like leave your comments any feedback all feedback is always welcome so today i'm going to be making as i know it growing up as small bakes but my mom told me guyanese normally call it monkey ears or teach a girl or teach a gal <laughs> bakes it's basically very small soft sweet bakes but it's not like overly sweet remember everything you can always like the um the spices and the sugar you can always adjust to your liking so i'm just going to show you how i make it this is how i make it i have not seen any videos of this particular bake so the ingredients that you will need to make these small bakes as i call them you're going to need about two and a half cups of flour remember it depends on how much flour you're using that's how many uh and that's how your measurements will go with everything else so i'm not making a lot it's just me and the kids so we have about two and a half cups of flour here this is all-purpose flour and of course we're going to need a little bit of sugar the sugar basically is what gives the bakes the color so don't be shy on the sugar but again you can adjust that accordingly um, some butter um, i use this coconut oil it's a plant-based um, butter it's really good um, I'm vegan so I try to alternate my ingredients a lot um, cinnamon powder and nutmeg and of course some baking powder with this you don't want to go too crazy I'm going to show you how I normally measure them this is just a regular tablespoon we eat in so this is what I'm using as my measurement um, I normally eyeball everything not everything I use exact measurement you will know again you will know everyone is different so for the sugar I'm going to take about four tablespoons of sugar at this point we're going to start mixing all the dry ingredients and then we'll move on to like the liquids then for the baking soda I'm going to take about this much of baking soda like literally just a tip of the spoon you don't need a lot of that then for the nutmeg and cinnamon I actually go in pretty ham on it because I love I love the aroma of the spices so I normally go in a lot I like smelling it in the flour so once I mix it up and if I'm not smelling it as high as I want to smell it I would normally add some more but remember it's all your preference this is the cinnamon powder don't go too heavy with the cinnamon and um, you want to mix all of that up just mix it in So once you mix all of this in, then is where you go in with your liquid. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my water, just water, and mix this. Okay guys, this is what the consistency is looking like. You basically want it to have that consistency. Not too watery and not too thick because, yeah, just, just about that. So when you pick it up, it should drop just like that. Now I'm going to go in with my butter. Basically the butter... What the butter does in this batter is keep the bakes nice and soft. To me, without the butter, the bake will come out like really hard on the inside. So I'm just going to put my butter in just like that. Then now I'm going to basically just work the butter into the, the batter. Oh, that rhymes. Work the butter into the batter. So work the butter into the batter. Make sure you mix that in evenly. And there your batter is finished remember this is the consistency that you want and you can see all the spices in there all the nutmeg and the cinnamon and it smells so freaking good now let's get over to the side you want to prep your paper towel in a bowl or you know your strainer or whatever it is to put the bakes in the paper towel will absorb any excess of oil this is a batter that you can go as soon as you finish mixing it once your oil is hot you can jump into frying it you don't need to wait any amount of time for it to set or anything so this is what the batter looks like again and i'm going to use a smaller spoon because i want the bakes to be a little smaller than this big spoon so i'm going to switch my spoons and then we're going to get into frying our bakes in a frying pan i have some cadola oil already heating up you want your oil to be 
hot you don't want it to be cold you don't want it to be getting hot you don't want it to be it looks hot you want it to be hot so that the bakes can fry as soon as it hits the oil using a small tablespoon because i want my bakes to come out pretty small not too small not too big so i'm going to show you guys how it looks like when it drops into the oil i'm just going to give my oil a second to heat up so my oil is ready so i'm going to go ahead and start putting my bakes in there So now you see your bakes are starting to raise, I would say raise a little bit. You just want to separate them if any is attached to any of them. I normally just break them. And that's pretty much it. You want it to get to a nice golden brown color. And remember with the sugar, the sugar is what really gives this the color. And then you just start flipping them over as you see the edges start to get like a golden brown color. You flip it over to the next side so that it starts to cook on the next side and you take it out. And that's pretty much it. It's really, really the simplest thing to make. My kids love it. I freaking love it. It's not overly sweet. I don't make my bakes too, too sweet. So it's up to you how much sugar you want to put inside, but that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna start flipping them. And as it's cooking, you're smelling those spices in there, like the nutmeg and the cinnamon. I just freaking love it because of the nutmeg inside of these bakes. And eating this with jam or cheese especially, oh my god, so good. So freaking Okay guys, this is my small bakes, teacher girls, or we call it soft bake, or whatever you guys call it. This is my version of small bakes. Um, this is what they look like. They're nice and puffy. They're not greasy or full of oil or, or full of oil or anything like that. And I'm going to show you guys right now how I eat my small bakes. Okay, so this is my small bake. This is what it looks like. I'm just going to show you guys what the inside of my bake looks like. Nice and soft, not hard at all. And this is how I normally would eat my small bake. I have a plate with some pineapple preserves or pineapple jam or anything, any jam, any like peanut butter, butter, cheese, anything like that. You can eat with the bake. So you just basically just dab that in there like that. This is so freaking good. So good. Already ate like about three or four already. I'm gonna go grab a couple more and go sit on the couch and eat this. This will be my dinner. Um, let me know if you guys are gonna try this recipe. Leave down in the comment section whether you are gonna try it or if you tried it and let me know if you like it. This is so simple, the easiest quick thing to cook if you like have zero time like if you run out of bread in the house or anything like that and if you have kids they will love this you see the crunchy the crunchy ends of this is the best part they're like so this is why they call it monkey ears because of these little things at the end but this is so freaking good anyways don't forget to comment like and share this video and please subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you guys in another video. Bye guys.